I'll show you, uh, you know, one of the apps that I feel delivers a lot of value, and it's much, it's not, it doesn't try to be that smart, um, but, but that location and context do play a big role, and I, I mean an app that I use very often is Yelp. I'm guessing that many people are familiar with Yelp, but um, uh, you know, the, uh, the idea that it's a, it, it's not trying to guess the context in the way that Google now is trying to guess my context. It's trying to guess, am I getting on a plane? Where am I going to go next? What time of day is it? Is it? Like, what, what mood am I in? Like, it, it, that, that, that's the sort of trajectory of Google now. Yelp isn't trying to make any of those assumptions. It's, it, knows, it knows location, and the rest of it, it's just, it's going to ask for, uh, it's going to ask me for what it is that I'm looking for. If, if I look up restaurants, it'll give me this. Um, and uh, that's, there's something very, this, the, the creep factor is lower, um, and um, uh, so that's quite popular and helpful. Thinking about location and, and not trying to anticipate context, another sort of uh, Yelp, Yelp light in a way, is a, is a, a, an, a, a site that I, that I like a lot for its simplicity. Um, it's, um, uh, usefulness is maybe questionable, and its name is definitely distasteful, but um, it's, um, it's called where the F should I go to eat.com. Again, it's a location aware app. It's asking for me for app of access to my location. And, um, and so it, uh, you know, it, 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 you know, they're running at, they're running ads along the top, but, um, uh, it's it's a very it's just it's a totally random selection of a place, but it's but it's one that's that's related to my location, and you know it it, it has a, it gives you a few options here. Um, one one is is in case the location function isn't working, then you have that you can pick that. Um, if uh, if that if this isn't what you're in the if if this restaurant isn't what you're in the mood for, you can uh, you can click that one and it'll it'll suggest a different it'll suggest that you could try a different one, and you can just you can just sort of keep. Keep doing this, and it'll just it'll just con continuously bring up um, uh, a, bu a, a bunch of other options that are kind of in the in the immediate area. Keeping in the same uh, mode of uh, of location, so I think one of the one of the apps that's doing um, that that I'm finding is doing really interesting work uh, is uh, is Foursquare, which I, again I think like Yelp is a fairly well-known app, and, and hopefully you guys know about. What Foursquare knows a lot about are, are places to go, places that people go, and how often people go there. And so what, they're, what they've done here is that they're looking through their database of venues and, and their, their knowledge of the ways in which people visit, visit these places, um, and then, then cross-referenced it with what they know about me, um, which in the case of Foursquare is not a lot, um, but they do know who I'm friends with. and they know, So they know where I go, and they know uh, who my friends are, and they know where my friends go. There's definitely a, a, an echo chamber, you know, uh, possibility with with something like this. Um, and in a lot of cases, that's what users want, presumably, right? I mean, there's a, I've, I, there's that path through Spain is probably like really comparatively easy. If you're like a freaked out teenager away from home for the first time, backpacking through Europe, like that that may not be so bad an idea, at least to start out with. If you deliberately want to take a different path, right? There are ways of doing that, um, and uh, so you know, one might be to look to, to start filtering um, venues by by other things. So these are this is just this is just limiting um, the the suggestions to suggestions of, of where I go to to ones that have opened recently. So that's a thing that Foursquare knows because like last month, no one was checking in these places because they didn't exist, and now there's lots of people checking in, and so. And so they, they do that. Um, I, you know, I haven't explored this enormously, but there are, um, uh, it, even at, it, in just the, the sense of like that, that, a, that a website could suggest to me where, like the places that I might like based on the behavior of my friends, I think like that's, that's something that didn't exist a couple of years ago, and I think it's a, it's a step in an interesting direction. Facing the other way, um, Foursquare is engaging with those venues themselves. And recognizing the way in which um, they have data about um, uh, Metro Hall, for example, that the city doesn't. Foursquare knows how many people have checked in here using Foursquare and, and who those people are and a little bit about those people that the city of Toronto doesn't have. And the city of Toronto, this is a weird example, but the city of Toronto might like to have some of that information. Um, and, so, and so Foursquare is working with them to make, to make that available, not just for the sake of delivering information, 
But um, but in fact, even in to try to help in the case of a in the case of a of businesses um, to try to help them develop uh, better relationships or with their with their customers um, and uh, and and sort of increase their findability for people who for people who don't already know them. You know, but they offer a bunch of uh, a bunch of different tools to help uh, people to help companies. Um, uh, get access to that data and, and use that data in ways that are helpful for them. So these are ones that, that are using, uh, using the idea of context, but, but using it in a, in a less location-specific way. Um, so um, one of the interesting opportunities, I think, around context has to do with, um, is, in the, is in the retail space. Um, and so pr Price Check by Amazon is an app that's not available. It's only available in the States. Um, but, and it's, it's controversial for a bunch of really important reasons. What's, what, but I'll just tell you a bit about how, what, what it does. If you're in a store, let's call it a store, um, then uh, you can, um, and you're thinking about there's this, this thing, that I, there's this object, this product that I want to buy. You can very quickly open up this app, uh, search for the product, and you can do a price comparison uh, very easily. It's a thing that, that I, I know I've done. I know a lot of other people have done. It's one of the things that I do with my phone in the store. Um, but um, this is an app that's specifically designed for it's making that as easy as possible. It has uh, difficult implications on the, for like local retailers, for example. Looking at the flip side of this, there's certainly the, the way in which it's useful to customers. The way in which this is useful to Amazon is that they, uh, they what they do is they allow you to also, if I'm in uh, you know, a uh, Canadian Tire and, and this you know, glass is a dollar or something, um, I, can, I can enter in that the product at Canadian Tire costs a dollar. And that allows Amazon to, uh, that, 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 that's adding to Amazon's database of prices. Another example is, um, is I won't go too much into this because it's uh, involved, but um, the you know, Obama for America app, the Obama campaigns both have done uh, really interesting work using um, mobile tech and social media. And um, this is one, there's a, the, the video here is pretty cool. I'm not going to show it. But it talks about the ways in which the app, you can use the app to help engage um, the, people, the people you know and then people you don't know. What they're essentially uh, encouraging here is a sort of uh, grassroots slash crowdsourced canvassing where um, you, can, you can launch the app. It will tell you who nearby are potential supporters and encourage you to basically go and knock on their door and encourage them to vote, encourage them to vote for Obama, and then allow you to then um, uh, provide feedback on how that, how that went, which helps, which, which helps add to the Obama campaign database of what's going on where, who's in, who's out. And uh, that, ha that database is w one of the things that has been cited as a, a really key component of that, uh, of that, camp of that winning campaign.